Hello everyone, uh, these are some of the drills that you can do for dribbling. Uh, for dribbling you want to always start with ball handling. For the kids to always be able to move the ball around a little bit so they have control. So a uh, couple of the drills that I mostly use are these. You want to use only your fingertips and for starters I want to go side to side. Side to side are really good using only your fingertips. When you see that they start doing good, you want to start maybe from the top to the bottom, up and high. These drills are good for them to start getting used to have a ball in their hands. Another, another thing that you can do with them is uh, pounding the ball. So what you want to do, you want to make them start hitting the ball so they get their fingers used to the ball. This is really important because you want to have strong fingers, you want them to start feeling the ball, so pounding the ball is a good one too. Other drills that you can do for ball handling is uh, as simple as going around your waist. Right here, this is good for warming up. Uh, you want to challenge them to go fast and fast and fast. Uh, you can do uh, around your legs and around your head too, and you can combine them. Something that I do a lot is you go around, 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 always coming back to the middle, okay? Base drills for other drills that you can do for ball handling is pretty simple. Uh, this is a figure eight on the ground. Figure eight on, on the ground, you want to put the ball on the ground and what you can do, you can move the ball around using only your fingertips doing a figure eight around your, around your feet. This will give you good, uh, good, good ball handling. But as you see, I'm only using my fingertips and I'm always touching the ball and in control. Don't let your kids just do this. This doesn't work. You want fingertips always and for them to do it as fast as they can. Another simple ball handling uh, drill that you can do, you can put one foot over the other, okay, and you just making them go around, the other foot, around, and once you see that they can handle it, you can go here and they alternate. So they are kind of doing a figure eight too, but just, you can do it static or you can do it then jumping. This one is good for cardio too, and will give them a lot, a lot of uh, ball handling um, sense. The other drills that you can do is um, you can have one hand over the other, you drop and catch. These are good for timing. You can do that one, or you can do forward and back. If you have the time, you can maybe do them uh, walking. So they are walking forward or walking backwards. You can do those two. Um, there are a, a, a lot of others, but if you need more, please let me know. Um, other, dr other drills that you can do now for dribbling. What I will do and make them do is just dribbling right, dribbling left for a couple of times. Then I will teach them a crossover. Crossover is pretty simple. You want to make them go side to side. You want to make them go wide and in control. So wide and in control, side to side. Simple crossover right here. Always looking at you. This is good, to, uh, good for control. Uh, the next one that I will do, I will do the teaching them to do between the legs. That's good too. The challenge is for them to start dribbling, open. When they open, cross, and they can grab the ball. Revert, regroup, and dribble. Open, cross, grab the ball, regroup. That's something else that you can do. Um, also, you can do like low pounds, this is good too, higher pounds on 
the wrist and remember that don't make them dribble more than the chest when you're putting into your chest that should be in control um, so these are some of the drills that you can use hope this help you and have a nice day